Well, hello, bonjour, and welcome to Leg 2, Lyon, the capital city in France's Auvergne Rhone Alp, Alp region. The Eurexpo Hall hosts the second leg of the Western European League and providing the setting for today's Grand Prix dressage freestyle. Could it be? Germany out in front. She's won here on five previous occasions in Lyon. Vargold, Isabel Vert. Isabel, who comes here off the back of uh, a very good win yesterday. This pair's average 88.266 in the freestyle. Well, if that is going to be the case today, this should be an easy victory. Will she do her signature one-handed massage down the centre line? Walk straight into a halt. Nope, two-handed to a halt. Isabel Vertz and Vargold, what a mare. I mean, really, really. She's just outstanding to watch. Pulls the cat out of the bag every single time. She's 16 years old. And uh, Christine Arms Krogman, the owner, well, just so proud. Well, she's gone into the lead. 84.910. Isabel Vert via gold. Throw the gauntlet down ahead of Catherine Dufour on 81. Isabel Vert, 84.910. Via gold leads for Germany. And this is now Atrop's guards for Delia. Horse that is owned by Blue Horse and Nana, who rides for the Blue Horse Stud. Well, sitting third at the moment, she was third in the Grand Prix, the short Grand Prix yesterday. Up guards, Ortilia, 75%. Well, she can do no more. Nana Skoberg Maralds. Comes to the end of her test, and uh, that is all Denmark she can do. A brilliant performance. Were there mistakes? No, not really. Were there places she could have been braver? Yes, possibly. But you know what? This is only the second leg, and these guys, they've got to keep going. They've got to build to a crescendo. And I thought that she rode really rather beautifully in there. Well, there we go, into second place, 83.695, just behind Isabel Vert. That is very, very close indeed. 83.695, and a personal best. Frederick Vondres with Duke of Britain, 14-year-old gelding. And this is a very exciting horse. So it is Germany 1, Denmark 2, 3, Spain 4, and Germany 5. That makes up the top five in this World Cup dressage series here in Lyon. Where will Mr. Vondras go? Because this is a very exciting horse. Yesterday in the Grand Prix, the short Grand Prix, he finished second. Loves riding a freestyle test. And I have to say, Duke of Britain is a brilliant horse. He's a, such an exciting horse to watch. Such a difficult sport, this. You want to do more, but by doing more, you run the risk. But if you don't go for it, and the old adage, if you always do what you always did, you always get what you always got, and you've got to do something different. One-handed passage coming down the center line.
Well, very well done to Frederick Vondres. He tried and he tried his best. It just didn't quite come off all the time today. And he is our last to go in this second leg of the FBI Dressage World Cup here in Lyon. What a competition we've had. Here is the score. It's 81.6. He does go into third. It is a podium finish. Well, he pushes Catherine to four off of the podium. That is a little bit of a surprise. I didn't think he quite done it, but he has done enough. And here we go to the final results then. It is a win for Germany's Isabel Wirt. She makes it six out of six attempts to win here. 84.910 with Vire Gold for Germany. Another win. She first won here in 2016 with uh, Nana Scoboard Merold and Atrop Carter Thidia in second for Denmark, 83.695. In third, Frederick Vandres for Germany, Duke of Britain. We've just seen him, 81.640 with Catherine Dufour. She was the winner in Herning. She's now in fourth with Vamos Amigos, the nine-year-old for Denmark in fourth. Well, these are the standings so far, and after two legs of nine, Frederick Vandres goes out in front on 44 points. Catherine de Four for Denmark in second. Tema Zistra in equal third with Nana Scobel Merrill picking up valuable points here. Isabel Wertz and Via Gold are the victors. We move on to Madrid, 25th to the 27th of November, and we hope you can join us then. From myself, Spencer Sturmey, thank you for watching.